And in the wake of the Orlando shooting, America is in need of a strong leader now more than ever. And Donald Trump is up for the challenge. One America's Rachel Roboto takes us inside Trump's big plans for America's future as he unveils his list of top priorities for his first 100 days in office. We're going to put America first and we're going to make America great again. Donald Trump is not only promising to make America great again, but also to make America rich again, as he lays out plans for his first 100 days in office. In a speech aimed at undercutting rival Hillary Clinton on Wednesday, the businessman vowed to protect the American worker by expanding the job market and letting small businesses thrive. I've always had a talent for building businesses and importantly, for creating jobs. That's a talent our country desperately needs. I'm running for president to end the unfairness and to put you, the American worker, first. It's about time. In his first 100 days, Trump promised to appoint judges who would uphold the Constitution, saying his rival would appoint radical judges aiming to weaken the Second Amendment. The businessman also said he wants to change immigration rules, repeal Obamacare, and rework the country's health care system, as well as pass a massive tax reform aimed at lowering taxes for working families of all income brackets. At the forefront of his agenda, however, is bringing jobs back to the U.S. Trump says he is determined to take on other countries that are crippling America's trade production and ability to manufacture products here in the U.S. Something the presumptive Republican nominee promised not to do, however, is be another wolf on Wall Street. Unlike Hillary Clinton, who has raised millions of dollars this election season by accepting large donations from super PACs and wealthy donors, Donald Trump has financed most of his campaign by paying out of pocket. Trump believes this gives him more power to gear the country in the right direction, adding he refuses to be controlled by lobbyists and the White House establishment. Taking a look ahead to the general race, Trump says when Americans go to the polls this November, they will be determining more than the next president of the United States. They will also be ruling on the fate and future of this great nation. This election will decide whether we are ruled by the people or by the politicians. Rachel Roboto, One America News.